Hey, maybe you can make an endoskeleton. No. Yes, a naked endoskeleton. No, dumpster fire. Oh. And you can also just select these side bases here. And you can the and it's going to the next bit. So if you come in here, over this corner, we can hit Control R, and then S to scale. And now we can just add a little bit of uh, water. Oh my god, dude, you're going to Select the back face here. Go to your black tool, hit your G, and just bring it back. And then select this top face here. And just G. And move it up slightly. You can also hit G, C, G, Z. You can move it up to the same. You can move it up to that. And I'm just making a really basic test. One thing I don't want to do is you can just rotate the flash. And you can also just select how it gets to the side face here. Next time we're going to be going up. And your front view. So G, you can move it to the side. And you're out. And it's next to the stick. So you can come in here. So we just spin it, we can come up R, click twice, and then S to scale. And now we can just add a little bit of stuff. Um, for the yeah, mine is also still doing the same thing. Okay, it's doing the same thing. Mine's doing the same oh, thing, so I'm... Yeah, that's right-click in the living room. Wait, Don't eat the computer! Mm. Eat the computer! Don't eat the computer. How do I want to do this? Try biting it. No. Meow. Yeah, but... mm. I kind of grabbed it back to Alpha 6. Oh, yeah, you can just hit my dog, dude. <laughs> there we go. I was trying to shift the. Oh, it's shift the. I actually hit shift F. So now I gotta move it. Okay. Bye. We had two breads to right click. Dude. Okay. Villagers will no longer make idle sounds when sleeping. They're asleep after all. Adorable bucks. It's a girl. I just. It's one put you here. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sorry. Okay. All right. The poor head. Look at the head. What have you done to that kid? No one do. Milo, what have you So this one's all zero one zero. Milo, what is this? That's interesting. I know. You know, this is a little like a, one of those electric toothbrushes with this bad Yeah, I killed the head by pushing it down. Oh, yeah. I killed the head by killing it like this. That's a skinny, that's a skinny neck. Oh, you know what that looks like? You know, have you ever seen the, um, I know Highway 20 South has one and then uh, 45 North has one. It's uh, like Sam Houston, giant Sam Houston statue up in Huntsville. Have you seen that? Oh, a little bit, yeah. And then there's one for Stephen F. Austin in the far south. But they're just giant, like, I guess they're granite, but they look like that. <laughs> I mean, it's huge. It's like 30 feet high. Jesus. Is that what you're doing? You're going to make it up to 
Oh, I'm trying to make a body and a head. Yeah, that's and a little head funny. is so stupid. Oh, oh yeah, that's <laughs> like with the birds. Oh my god. What did I just do with this poor head? You smashed the front of it, that's what you did. The nose and the eyes. The eyes don't even exist anymore. I'm working on creating my own little shape. Oh, control. I love it. You've done that man's face. That's a pretty cursed creation. Across the top. I'm gonna have to keep going. Uh, and the Myla, are you okay? Why are you dying? Oh, you just made the war mod. It's my best mod. The blank thing. <laughs> Myla, you have just made the brand new spank in Minecraft horror mod, the blank faceless man. <laughs> he looks hurt. Whoa, whoa. Oh god. Why don't you should make a mouth and make it look more hurt? There we go. Uh, it doesn't look like getting along with my friends and this happens. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Not up, board. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Maybe I should make it like a Disney Gorgon where she have its face open up. Like, share the graph of the Look at that fire in there. Yep. It's just standing there. It's not letting me undo it. It's not letting me undo it. It's so damn cursed. <laughs> no purple. Whoa, what? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. It's too much. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. Yeah, yeah. Days and twenty hours of playing Minecraft. Oh boy. Oh dear God. She's lagging so hard. That'd be fun. That was cursed. Just move the noise in that man's face. Oh boy. Okay. Hey, good. Hi. Which world are we going to make it in? I don't know. I for. <sighs> Are we going to make it in yours or in mine? Probably in mine, but I need to be able to actually play the game yeah. first. Okay. So, if you're struggling, I might start working on updating no. of Bruce's thing. Because so, Milo, you just made your first gun. Yes, you did. You done. I have no regret, and I'm running from it. <laughs> Set it up properly. Yeah, I would too. It's just. 
No, no. <laughs> Can't handle the meow. You just don't like it. Damn it. <laughs> but what have you person? You are giving some color. That's just weird looking. It's gonna be a while till I figure out how to do that. that I'm gonna have to look into another tutorial. Um, giving it a mouth, and it was so weirder with a mouth. If I make it even curse, I'm going to throw you off <gasps> the window. <laughs> hey, actually, <laughs> just like throw the computer out the window. You can't pick me up, my brother Charlie sat down, he could not, he didn't look me up for like a second. Oh boy. That's just funny. You can do something, you can do something. I literally have it cursed, and it's gonna come back and bite my ass in the future. What's up, honey? Nothing. Alright. Cursed. Goodbye. Oh, that model's gonna bite me in your mouth. With this one. I'm sorry, I have to do myself sun. Doing it from sun is better. Hey, hey, I made some bald. <laughs> I've learned how to make some bald. Lovely bolt on the floor. <laughs> now just walk. I don't have them in my closet, so I don't know.
Okay, we're installing this on another drive because it's not doing it. Mm hmm. Minecraft updates go burr. It says I, I have think the orange looks too orange. <laughs> And I'm exiting out of this. Exiting out of this. Hey, uh, Chris. I don't know if this bug is happening to y'all's too. Do y'all go in Discord and talk through VC voice chat? Mom. Uh, when you play a game while the beast is going on with the mic, is it uh, not? If the game sound turns off, not just normal. Um, video chat. But there was one time when I was actually in a, a video chat, but I was not there. It was very blocky. Okay. For us, we don't know if it's happening to y'all's Discord, but for me, every time I go to, let's say, Google or to t Twitter or some other game I play games on while talking to them. It used to work where I could it, talk it, it to them and play you, at the same it, time. It depends, you, it, depends, it depends how you start it. But the weird part is it's not picking up my voice and it's not it literally working. Doing it right now. No, when I go to other apps it does not Pick up my voice. I'll show you. And let me go to. Let's pick a game. I'll just pick a random one. When it goes off, it. Uh... Hello? Hello? Now it shut off. Yep, did it again. It was working for a minute and then it shut off. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. Yeah, Somewhere on the orange side that I want it to be, but if I put it too red too closely, it's going to look better um, than I want it to be. Her, her game, her Discord can't overlap with games without without talking. Mm. I mean, the Xbox is how that phone, the phones are different. Because mm. they need to hear me. Because my dad. Well, there's a setting on this club that allows you to play games and put in box at the same time. Unless you're something retarded. Just look through the settings until you find it. I don't know where this one is. It's on. Oops. I'm only going to the actual. Okay, he's doing hot to leave for a couple minutes. Because I gotta I got look at the actual settings. I'm gonna turn off my phone for about the Okay. That's fine. I'll be back. Yeah.
like how my original clips now has encouraged me to make a new clips because it's too red, in my opinion. <laughs> it's too red. And now I'm making it, and I'm like, it looks too orange, and I'm like, if I fuck with it anymore, it's going to look bad again. Stop saying it's too orange or too red. There's no such thing. Just put black in it. God damn it. That's what I'm doing. Because it makes it look like the derpy eclipse that blew up lunar. The <laughs> <laughs> derpy eclipse. Mm -hmm. That's what we're calling that form of his. His derpy form. You know, that's why I'm not going too red, because if it's too red, <laughs> it's just gonna be that. Derpy der. <laughs> not me changing the, um, brown to black now. <laughs> I made it like a dark brown, but it's too brown. It's still brown, but like it's now muted brown. I'm still waiting on it to install and it's not doing anything. Fun. Do you just want to watch me do this while you're waiting, then? Uh oh, I'm I might not ha be able to have anything on while I do this, actually. Okay. What do you Did mean you by me Minecraft like movie? No, it is yes. so bad. It's so bad. Why? <laughs> you want to see the trailer? <laughs> I'm watching the trailer right now at this point. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My reaction was the same as that black lady's level. Anything you can dream about here, you can make. Who are the you? fuck? Why is Jack Black in here? I'm Steve. <laughs> Why is he Steve? He's Steve. Okay. This guy is such a toolbag. <laughs> I don't know what, what else to tell you. He's Steve. <laughs> he literally says it. He's Steve. Oh no. What the hell? So I can't go on my tippy toes because I th uh, it hurts to go on my tippy toes. I'm sad. <laughs> the fucking animals look so bad. <laughs> they do. Why does the sheep look like it wants to die? <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of that one thing. <laughs> when like that one derpy ass like. Minecraft mod set a moon plane <laughs> with the sheep. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna take you to the shelter, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of the only things that I can remember from that. Oh yeah, mod. I could like, have. I need to take you to the shelter. <laughs> 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 what is wrong with you? 
I can hear someone in the background. Galaxy rejoin. Okay. Uh, oh, let me breathe. I swear I clean my teeth all the time. It keeps on bleeding. You know what? I'm being an idiot. I could just look at some fan art and do this that way. Yes. I could I literally something. look at fan art, put it into into IBS Paint to get the exact color, and do it that way. Yes. I'm being Bless stupid. I would. I might not be me. able to play Minecraft if this persists because it's not downloading. Mm -hmm. Fine. Let Galaxy speak. Okay. Because it's only time for me to go. Uh. E. Y'all already know they don't have Chia. But yeah. Got what? I was going to say, dang it. Mm. Well, I hope it's going. I'll see you at four. If I used this, I'd have to turn up the brightness on the damn thing. Hold on. What? Uh, am I like allowed to? Yeah, why? Uh, well, also, what's wrong? What? Why does it look like you were crying? Buddy, what's wrong? Come here. Come here. You want a hug? You want a hug? <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hi. All right. Aww. It's okay. You're okay. What's wrong? <laughs> Does he have school? Oh, he came back from a field trip recently. Oh. Wait. That doesn't bode well if he's upset already. Oh, no, he came- yeah, he came back from a field trip. And he was reading a book that made him sad. Oh. Uh. Okay, that's- that's cute. <laughs> that's it's very like you, cute. You heard me you respond like that. It's like, you okay, buddy? <laughs> you good? <laughs> Cause like, his nose was like, red. I'm like, okay, something's up. <laughs> Aw. So you can tell, that's cute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I said that. <laughs> Marshmallow Lunar.
Cooler. <laughs> I still have like I still have the he's plotting some <laughs> a while back. <laughs> what? From who? <laughs> Solar. <laughs> what? You guys AFK. You guys were AFK. And then no. And then no. <laughs> was it? Oh my god, it was that? You still have that? Did you make it into a meme? Did you Did you put it on the internet yet? Do you need to No, no, you need to put it on the internet. <laughs> I just have this random eclipse meme from VR chat being like he's plotting something. <laughs> I could. Just I sent my downloads and on February 11th I could put that and be like, I found this again. Mm. After all this time, I could put that on YouTube, on my community page. <laughs> <laughs> found this from a while back. The stupidity, I swear. Come here, bubby. It'll be on the internet, technically. Yeah. I mean, like, public Styles. internet, though. Yes. I swear be. that the- No, I swear to god if someone remixes, like, a fucking 360 <laughs> shot on it, it's like, going to fucking <laughs> scream. <laughs> Come here. If they make, like, a gif where it's the fucking MLG Pro bullshit on it, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Come here. Me? Meow. Meow. Hold on, it's doing a thing where I have to look around he's, it. Um, he 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 wants to. He, he's trying. Stuff in the oh oh. It. <laughs> oh. Hi, Bobby. That all my cats get on me when I'm not looking at them. That's a that's a trait they all share. If I'm not looking at them, they yes. get up here. It's obvious from what happened last night with snow. Okay. Alright, Yeah? I will the Are you vacuuming the hallway? Okay. It's Wednesday. No. Yes, no, go close up Dad's room as well. Mirror. Mirror. Mirrors. Oh dear god. Mirrors. Oh my. Mirrors. Burr, 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 burr. Oh. Yes. What is it, buddy? I'm looking for it. I know it's past some galaxy. Near galaxy pictures. There it is. It's public too. If you look, go look at my channel. Go, go look at my channel. Oh dear lord. Oh, wow. Fair. Okay, give Go me a look moment. At my channel community. I feel like this is going to be a mistake. <laughs> also, I'm not gonna do that. I'll only have voice connection, so then maybe this thing will install! 
might have to reset your. I might have to restart. Restart my computer. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing like a maniac over there? I'm concerned. <laughs> You'll see. No. <sighs> no. I need to send this to you <laughs> later. <laughs> All these reactions to be petted by Barnaby. Uh... What is this? November 4th? Sending that to you now. Why is it suddenly so hard to find an eclipse photo? Dear God. <laughs> what, you saw it? Oh my God. A wild solar flare has appeared. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What you do? Run. <laughs> Wonderful gem. <laughs> Is that really what you called that? Hey! Hey! What the hell? Also, how the hell did his head just stay like that? No. You guys were okay. Yes, we were. It's like his back is straight. <laughs> Completely straight. <laughs> Parallel with his legs, like how I sit occasionally. <laughs> Casually struggling to find a clip. Also, I sent you something in the. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Are you are you gonna actually put that on the real internet, like in Google? <laughs> how how am I going to do that? Look it up. It's easy, actually. Do you want me to revive my DeviantArt account? For that? Maybe. Shove that on there and see how people react. This exists now. Have fun with that.
Oh, I found that picture that um the the thing originates from. Oh, give me a moment. I got it. Negative on everything, but it is a type of virus. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> so it's not COVID, thankfully, and it's not strep. But I usually get the worst off brand viruses ever that they never test for. So this is gonna suck. <laughs> mm hmm. I sent you the one-off picture of the swap you that, um, was talked about. Oh. Yeah. I also sent you a Wally thing. Huh? Oh dear. I sent you a Wally thing. You know what? I might use that picture, actually. April 8th. Pet. Because Pat. it has a... Uh, why is that how I react to it, though? It, it is, though. <laughs> Because you don't know how to react, and your eyes and your face just go full. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they do though. <laughs> and then I start patting them instead. <laughs> because that's what he's clearly doing. He's holding up to the arms like pat, 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 pat. pat. <laughs> and that is the one-off picture, by the way. No I hate feeling that. small. <laughs> Lunar. Brother, we're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, though. No. That picture um, is the same very picture that is used for Swap on um, Lunar. Yes. I know Swap Swap Eclipse exists out there. I can't find it, though. But seriously, though, why do I act like Wally by accident? <laughs> no! I said the cat! Don't I didn't pet, say pet me. This, ain't it? Don't pet me, goddammit. I will throw this water bottle at you. I will. I will throw it at the camera with the camera on. <laughs> Scroll. Me. You're mine now, cat. Mine. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying so hard. Other two that are averaging 
14 to 16 pounds. Me. Okay, what is your lightest color up there? Because I'm going to fix the arms. Really? Okay. You need me to brush you. Is that what you want? I'm gonna brush snow. Hi, Bubby. You have so much fur that needs brushed out. start from scratch again. Yeah. Instead of rapid clicking. <laughs> that was slim. Get rid of the outer layer. He is now bald.
eraser. Stop! I'm trying to do shit. I love that you want to give me atten get attention right now, but not right now. Oh my god, why? Oh. I'm sit my hand now. Can you not sit on my hand? This cat, I swear. And okay, I need some sight writer. It's three three one. It's still not wanting to function. What? Minecraft? No. You might have to restart the computer then. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm fine with you doing that. Give me a moment of this. Yep. I'll be watching something while I wait. Shoot a puppy, are you, Jack? Yeah, in the face. Why? A villain being evil just for the sake of being evil is boring, boring. right? Well, that's what I thought and mentioned in my last video about Turbo from Wreck It Ralph. No, 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 Having a villain who's just oh, I need to evil, no tragic backstory, no redemption arc, feels like a breath of fresh air in today's movie landscape, where every bad guy needs some heartwarming, I'm not really bad, explanation. And yeah, you were spot on with your example, Jack Horner from Puss in Boots' The Last Wish. I was wrong, and people can change, but not big Jack Horner. And that's also what makes him a legendary villain. Today, we're going to explore why Jack Horner is the ultimate irredeemable villain. We'll break down his motivations, how he contrasts with other characters in the film, why he's both terrified- I got pulled into a YouTube video. God damn it. A villain as unredeemable what? As I got Jack pulled into a YouTube vid video. The our eponymous protagonist, Puss in Boots, is met with resistance oh. from three antagonistic forces. Goldilocks and the three bears, Death Go and the Jack thing. Horner. Each of which, in turn, plays the role of a villain, albeit Meow. in ways entirely unique to one another. Mm. Goldilocks and the Three Bears are portrayed as sympathetic <laughs> villains, as while they are- You heard that, right? Yeah, you heard wish, that. They are also an endearing family. <laughs> I touched him and that gets his response, is to put his hand on me and do that, to tell me to fuck off. And dressed in a reaper -like I touched his butt, that apparently. Manifest Puss's struggle with his own mortality. How dare I? Jack Horner? Jack is a nut job, chaos in its purest form. There's no rules, no purpose beyond his own selfish gain. I don't even think Jack always knows why he does what he does. And somehow, sometimes, I can even relate to that. Wow. Many characters, even the good guys in the film, show at least some villainous traits. Because they're all after one thing, the wishing star. A magical artifact that grants one wish to whoever reaches it. 
but they have real <laughs> reasons to act selfishly or inconsiderate now and again. Puss wants to cheat death, Kitty craves trust, and Goldilocks seeks belonging. Their motives are rooted in Eight, fear, four. trust, and love. But Jack? Jack Horner can't give a rat's ass about any of these so-called motivations. Four. He's built, well, differently. Three, four. Firstly, he had a tragic childhood. One. <laughs> no, I never had much as a kid. Just loving parents, and stability, and a mansion, and a thriving baked goods enterprise for me to inherit. Useless crap like that. <laughs> he literally had everything and wanted for nothing. But still, what? absurdly, Jack Horner's driving force is a need for more. To own all the magic and Jack and Horner being and the to perfect like villain to be evil Hood. just to be he evil. Just wants it all for himself. And from the last I wish. Know, this greed sparked the day he got a little less attention than a magical puppet boy and turned into a raging fire. Okay. But, I mean, he was Three, probably a bad two, egg from the start. Three, Just look okay. at the faces of his parents on the left and right of the stage. They've given up on him a long time ago. Poor Why bastards. Is fresh mode Even again? as little Jack Horner, we can see he's at least somewhat of a narcissist, losing his marbles when he doesn't get all the attention. At this moment, instead of realizing that the lack of applause he's getting is because of his nursery rhyme and thumb and plum trick becoming very old hat, he put in his thumb and pulled out a plum. He comes to another conclusion, and of course, the wrong one. He needs mm. magic, and then he'll also be adored like the dancing puppet. It's not cute. I don't want to call him a spoiled brat because that would give his parents too much blame. This little Horner is put together from greed, envy, and lust. Three of the actual seven deadly sins, like a demonic Powerpuff girl. His greed drives him to hoard magic. His envy fuels his obsession with outshining others, and his lust for power blinds him to morality. But still, I don't think that's what makes him irredeemable. So what is a redeemable character? In the movie, Goldilocks exemplifies a redeemable character. Despite her flaws okay. and villainy born from a lack One of love, three. she shows potential for change and finds oh. redemption by realizing the bears are her true family and doesn't need the wishing stars, a theme that also Why am extends I not to Puss and Kitty. Though recording not this? Here to talk about because that, you're being you stupid. The ability to change. I, I should record when I make this. Jack yeah, you should really record when you make anything, to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Paid for anything in his life. Because it's that up, interesting. Get even more out of hand. He grows into a big boy, literally. Physically, Jack's character is both intimidating is it really that and interesting? unsettling. That baby face of a spoiled boy that's never grown up, perched on the body of a giant with hands okay. the size of boat paddles. The character design is actually Since so she was suggested I should record whenever I think of it. It lingers I make like shit. a fuzzy nightmare. Is it so, just me? You can tell me if it's here's just me. me making a Please, clip. Tell me <laughs> just me. Jack Horner being a baby thought. faced he got from putting into so many pies. Oh lordy. Why does that freak me out so much? It reminds me of the way the fingers of some witches in movies are stained in black because they handle opium from poppy fields too much to brew their potions. To me, it hints at his addiction to evilness and his way of life. Yes, I am indeed using a son your thumb into a that pie was that pre-made. It is just not right, nor practical. For <laughs> this? disgusting. But what's great about that action only because really adds to the character's evil nature is that the whole I want to be consistent is a thumb down <laughs> with the appearance the of my antrox or bad negativity and judgment is already built into So I've been Jeff. using the sun and moon constantly this batch delicious Jack from this one person the bone. There's no I wish Jack I could Horner find a bad person to give them credit for sun time without any hint of subtlety Jack's disrespectful and destructive attitude need to find them magic. and I will in fairy tale worlds, find them magic is later sacred and all uh, probably at the end of this items they're handled with the utmost care and reverence take for or instance the not my son wand from Harry Potter which or is, is there wielded by those and the moon is not mine world. either or it just happens to be the one that I use protected no. extreme caution because it's just so well made power, capable of changing destinies Jack Horner gives zero Fs about that. And I'm not First, going to be rude and not credit the person. From Gulliver's travels, he kind of put on display inside one of those bottles with the ships inside. Okay. Those are real life people, so 
I really hope he punched some air holes, but it's a glass <laughs> bottle, so I guess not. Oh, and let's six. not forget about the magnificently curated presentation six. of baby One unicorn B. horns. And what he used oh, is it green? He's a freaking maniac. One and I love it. There we go. And let's not forget <laughs> baby unicorn horns. <laughs> the I swear. Of rebirth and new beginnings, he uses as a flamethrower. That one's fucking nonsense, I don't know. Literal opposite of what the what Phoenix they're symbolizes. And then there's Excalibur, the sword We're the stone, which this led in the so the, what's going on is I'm trying to make eclipse or eclipse's castle. Well, Realized I need a better looking eclipse, too, first of all. Is still is what this is. To me, this is me working on Eclipse, tells that rules and that one is still struggling to up update Minecraft. How he wants, when he wants it. Because of course they are. And kind of cool. If he didn't have mm. such a disregard for human life, we first see this disregard Keep when the saying that need to reset their Jack computer. Corner, the map to the wishing Marie, star, stop. Which restart. Restart. to pay for by their weight Computer, and gold. because that's because probably what's going on. Kind of. Meow. When one of the sisters touches the hand of Midas, she instantly Arm goes to the <laughs> while the other sister watches and then parts her away. Seemingly not too bothered by her partner's fate. This is also a clue to Jack's twisted sense of humor. But where we really see Jack Horner Stop. playing with human life and enjoying every moment is when he and his henchmen are chasing Puss in Boots, Soft Paws, and Perico, who've stolen the map to the Wishing Star. Chaos to do the hand. Ensues, which starts as a battle between. The sad thing is, I have to deal with ads. I'm so sorry if any of them are weird. <laughs> group and Jack's they quickly turns into a I just ignore him. One of Jack's oh. instantly consumed seven eating blue five while the others two. in the cheerful confetti It's so interesting when writing out letters of hers and the color wheel loves it. I'm not good is this color wheel wheel square thing is 13 that this is Jack loses men at a tremendous rate. How he still has enough henchmen left to build that human bridge later on is beyond my comfort. Because it's like I'm trying to get a red and then all of a sudden green. Replace the dead ones. These are the types of things that keep me up at night. Another moment. This one I can paint pop proof of the gaping right there. void where Jack's heart should be is when Perico, bless his soul, tries to win Jack over with the same adorable wide-eyed look that <sighs> Puss in Boots has used to charm countless others. But despite Perico's innocence I'm and right now just warmth, doing Jack remains completely pink. unfazed, showing once again that no amount of cuteness or kindness can sway him from his cold-hearted <laughs> path. So he's bad AF. But is he irredeemable? Seven, six, so we've established that Jack two, Warner C. is ruthless, ruleless, that's a yellow, and completely two. devoid of empathy. But does that make One, him irredeemable? There are two types of characters in stories, static and dynamic. Take, for instance, Puss and Jack. They both start from it's a frustrating how I said I wasn't going to do red, and it seems like most of this color on the different. side has been red-oriented. Embrace companionship and reject like, what, selfishness. What? I've been lied to. A better version of himself. <laughs> I thought you him. weren't red. Jack Horner, on the other hand, well, nothing happens. And when Is he, he dies, dead? he's still the same purple-thumbed psychopath. Static. And mm. unredeemable villains are always five, static characters. One, one, Even Darth Vader, five, one of the most one, famous villains, three. is dynamic and has a reason for being the way he is. His fall to the dark side stems from fear of loss, love for Padme, and a misguided desire to protect those he loves at all costs. Casually decapitate him. Jack is static mm. and almost a complete opposite of Darth Vader. Casually decapitates Clips. doesn't mean boring. For Jack, being evil is just a good old hobby, a way to pass the time, which isn't a bad thing, even though Jack is a character who learns less than nothing throughout the film. He still plays a pivotal role in the story's dynamic. His unchanging greed and selfishness okay. force the heroes to That one arm is roughly and done. I need to his over the top arrogance, unapologetic get the ribbons. and downright ridiculousness make him funny AF. Dude in the movie gets the most laughs and spawned the most memes. 
Jack joins the ranks of other irredeemable yet hilarious villains, like Skeletor from bell. He Man, whose constant screaming and ridiculous insults make him more comical than terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Another good example is Dr. Evil Dr. from Austin Evil Powers. From Austin Powers. <laughs> absurd plans and narcissism, but he becomes a parody Concerned about what they're watching. One thing Jack has <laughs> Dr. Dr. Evil. <laughs> He's funny, though. Tried his frickin' best. Why? He is, though. Juxtaposed with a character I Bug, or Jiminy only packed in his magical seven, seven, because he one. thought he was some biblical plague locust or something. Easy mistake to make, I guess. That is a bright. Bug that is great. Of reason, um, trying to find redeemable qualities in Jack. However, after witnessing Jack's complete disregard for morality, yeah, this one Bug is. eventually gives up in a rare outburst, which is entirely out of character for him, Nine. but is freaking hilarious. Seven, I love six, the irony in this part. Four. Although the movie doesn't really is this say it, be bright? the ethical Bug is of course the same Bug that tried to get to be on his journey to becoming a real boy, which is of course the dancing get way out, puppet get it out of my sight. Jack jealous in the first place. See what's happening here? So Jack wanted what that puppet had, and he got it. Not just magic, but also the magical universe's attempt at a conscience. But Jack doesn't even realize this, or the irony in it. In a very real sense, the fantastical universe he lives in gives him exactly what he needs to change, but he just blows it off. As he collects more and more things to fill the void inside he was born with, and his magical bag, he just wants even more. His greed just snowballs until, ultimately, he has to fail. In the end, Jack Horner gets exactly what he deserves. His death caused by the oh, wait, unless. Hold on. perfectly encapsulates the fate of an irredeemable villain, whose demise is poetic justice. The very magic he sought to dominate ultimately consumes it. See if this looks good or not. not sure FDF. If the bug died in this Five. movie, but if, he didn't, he if it doesn't, I'll get rid of it. Care facility now. A mental care facility. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if fairy tale insurance covers that, but I hope he's getting uh. the help that he needs. Okay, so why oh, that looks so actually better now. Why does that look story? so good? And how should you go about I'm it? keeping there that. There are three main reasons, in my opinion, that irredeemable, psychotic villains work. It's the same. One, the big Nation. animation houses like DreamWorks and Disney have been too obsessed lately with giving their villains backstories and reasons for being bad to a point that it's been overdone. Cat. So villains like Jack Horner <laughs> are a breath of fresh air. It will make your hero Eventually this cat is going to kill me with how much I mess with him sometimes. Beyond saving, it puts your hero's qualities like growth, mm -hmm. and, and resilience into the spotlight. The contrast between a villain who refuses oh, so to change and a hero who know what's painful. their flaws pain in general. What? What's going on? Having, having your entire left elbow covered in poison ivy. Oh. oh, lovely. ...makes the hero's journey stand out even more. Showing that is what my entire elbow is. Yeah. Three, an irredeemable villain makes you root for the hero even Which is more than you did fun. before. All <laughs> the hero encounters in a movie will be even more okay. emotional. But how do you write one of these bad boys? There are four main things to implement in your character. Establish clear, selfish goals. Start by giving your villain simple, self-serving goals See if I'm like power or domination. Like Jack Horner, your villain's motivation like should be rooted in joy, Phase. with no concern for others. One, Emphasize two, ruthlessness. Two. Show your villain making unforgiving decisions and acting with complete God, disregard no. for others. Have your villain sacrifice Why does it keep doing the paint bucket? Without hesitation, just as Jack Horner does. Avoid redemptive qualities. Resist the urge to give your villain any sympathetic backstory or yes, there's Minecraft music in the background. Devoid of empathy or mm -mm. Use contrast to highlight villainy. Surround your villain with more nuanced characters to make their evil stand out more. In other words, contrast your villain with complex characters, much like Goldilocks's growth emphasizes Jack's static nature. To help you, here's a list of characteristics your irredeemable villain should never have. If your character exhibits any of these traits, they're not truly irredeemable and might need some reworking. Empathy. Your villain should never show concern for others or relate to their pain. 
regret is this he color have no remorse for their actions no matter how evil if it already looks like a jack variant just the head alone it's kind of funny sorry for them moral complexity keep their motivation simple and self serving like greed or power without moral dilemma nine change or grow they should never learn lessons or change their ways over the course of the story relationships your villain should not form genuine bonds that does not match what i have vulnerability they should never show emotional weakness or doubt humility arrogance and entitlement in their personality they must believe they're always right for desire for redemption there we go no desire to make amends or redeem themselves moral code Unlike some villains who follow a personal set of ethics, an irredeemable villain should disregard any moral code. That's it for today's lesson. And Maybe that's you not have that it. right. Big Jack Horner is the perfect irredeemable villain. No empathy, no growth, no humanity, just pure exaggerated evil. That's what makes him Zero. hilarious and terrifying all at once. Six, well, Jack six, stays in unappealing. Okay. I'm just moving. I didn't mean to scare you, buddy. I'm gonna update my computer at this point because I think it yes. needs the update. That's probably why it's not wanting, not wanting to download something. Yeah.